Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya. Well, what are we doing today? We are answering questions. I received questions related to uh, quote unquote, where did my model go? So people are losing their model or parts of their model. And there are a couple of things uh, that can be the cause of that, right? And this is going to be a very short video, but just so you are aware, right? Okay, first, let's say I want to isolate something. Uh, I want to work on this little clip thingy right there all right okay what i can do is hit control one and when i do that this is the only thing i have now people are saying well hey you know how do i get my model back well it's really simple just hit control one again there you have it right okay what's the next one well let's say you want to hide something it's kind of the same uh, idea right uh, I don't know, let's say you're working on blend shapes or something and you want to hide the original. So I'll select um, this thing and I'm just going to hit control H and that will hide everything. Now, the cool thing is it will help you so much when you want to, for example, select things. You don't have to deal with all the mesh around it and so forth. But the thing is, how do you get your model back? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to uh, mesh. You're going to go to, uh, let's see, sorry, to display. You're going to go to show and you're going to go to all and everything will be back, right? Now, one of the most famous issues that I hear all the time is this. I want to get close in and hey, what is this all about, right? So I'm trying to, let's say, I don't know, this little pin down there in the buckle and I want to model it. But as soon as I get close, this happens. What is that, right? Well, that's your clipping plane. Now, how do you sort that out? It's quite easy, actually. You go to your outliner and you look for your camera, the one that you created, which is this guy right here. We're going to hit Control A for the outliner and we're going to open up, not camera one, but camera shape one. And here you have a whole bunch of details related to your camera. What you want to look at is your near clip plane, this one right here. It's set to 10 and I did that on purpose. It's not a default, but I just wanted to demonstrate this, right? So let's set this to 0 0.001. Now remember that I couldn't get to that clip right there. No, I can easily get to that, right? It's down here, this guy, okay? So you can do that, and sometimes when you zoom out, you lose your model as well, all right? Now you see that black turning up, that's because of that very low value. So we're gonna go back to our camera, and let's set this to, uh, where do you go, right here, let's set this to 0 0.1, I think that's the default. So you wouldn't get that black going on so much, right? Now the far clip plane, let's set that to five, and immediately, you have to go super, super close to find it, right? Let's set it to 50. A little bit better, but as soon as you get out, it's gone, right? So we're going to set this to a high value, 500,000, right? And you can go all the way out and you can still see it's there. So that's all there's to it. So it's either hide or unhide, isolate or unisolate, or changing the clipping plane on your camera. That's all there's to it. All right, let me know in the comments. If you got any questions, let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that sub button, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye.